So today we are going to learn on how to effectively scale our systems by understanding horizontal and vertical scaling. But we will understand this using the experiences from the best TV show ever, Breaking Bad. We will go down the journey of Walter White, Jesse Pinkman, Gus Fring and many others to understand what decisions they made, how they scaled their operation and what insights we can get. We will also learn the trade-offs of each of their decisions and the advantages and disadvantages of every single approach. By the end of this video, you would become an expert on how to distribute crystal blue, uh, I mean resources for your system design. So without any delay, let's get started. Oh, tight, 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 yeah. Oh, blue, yellow, pink, whatever man, just keep bringing me that. Now first let's understand that what is scaling. That would give us idea on what horizontal and vertical scaling is and why it is needed. Scaling is all about adjusting your system size to match the demand. When more people need your services, you scale up to increase your output. But when there are fewer people needing your services, you scale down to reduce what you produce. This is just like turning up or down the volume based on how many people are listening. Okay, now let's just go back to very first season. And we try to understand that what Jesse Pinkman and Walter White are trying to do. Number one, they, they are not sure that what their demand is going to be. They are not sure how much quantity they need to produce. So what they do is they start producing small quantities of their product using a very small RV. If we have to consider this with a system design, we can consider this as a single server system where there is just only one server doing all the computation, playing with the data, storing the data, uh, running all of the mathematical equations and generating the output that user wants. But very quickly, just like the users in Breaking Bad, our users also realize that the output we are giving or the product we have is bomb. It's like very superior and at the same time, we wants to serve now much more people and generate much more results. So what are the two options Walter White and Jesse Pinkman has? Number one option is they hire much more people, they create, they buy bunch of more RVs, they buy bunch of more ingredients, put them all simultaneously side by side and have all of them up and running and keep on pumping the product. So this is going to be considered as a horizontal scale. Now the second approach is, instead of that they create a massive lab and in that massive lab they actually have much more ingredients, much more product, much more sophisticated equipments that are doing all the computation and now with the same amount of effort they are actually able to generate much more product. So that is option number B that is called vertical scaling. That Gus Fring was actually smart enough to understand the concepts of computer fundamentals and maybe he could have become like next Jeff Bezos or someone but he actually had a vertical scaling operation or a super lab up and running on behind the laundry. Now this super lab had great advantages. You can actually produce much more items at the same time. Number two, you can actually have much more ingredients being stored. So in our computer system language, this would be like having a massive computer that has higher RAM, higher ability to store the data, higher hard disk, much higher computation power, maybe like 12 core i9 servers up and running. Same thing Gus Fring tries to implement in his own system where he is vertically scaling up in order to meet the demand. And now for this operation, because he is working with a massive super lab, he actually expects 200 pounds a week in order for it to make it financially viable. So there are great advantages with vertically scaling up his uh, system. But now let's see that what are the disadvantages with vertically scaling up his system. Number one, he is too reliant on that one single piece of property to continuously generate the output for him. And that becomes an issue very soon. Why? Because suddenly he realizes that he has a huge dependence on Walter White if he wants to keep on generating more and more product. So that's why he cannot get rid of Walter White and then cannot get rid of Jesse Pinkman. Also eventually Walter White and Jesse Pinkman realizes that they can actually outsmart Gus Fring, take him out and at the same time destroy the lab. Which means there was a single point failure possibility available in the system that was one huge massive super lab or one huge massive vertical scaling operation. Imagine if Gus Fring had like multiple labs spread across the Albuquerque 
एंड मे बी ही कैन हायर मोर पीपल टू डू दस द सेम ऑपरेशन इन स्मॉलर स्केल ही कुड हैव डन दैट बट द प्रॉब्लम विद दैट अप्रोच वुड बी ही वुड बी टू वर्नरेबल इन दिस कंडीशन दो ही इज रिलाइंग ऑन अ सिंगल पॉइंट फेलियर ही कैन ऑल्सो मेक श्योर और पुट ऑल द सेफ गार्ड्स बिफोर टू मेक श्योर दैट दैट ऑपरेशन डज नॉट गो डाउन द ड्रेन एंड नो वन इज एबल टू मैस अप विद दैट फॉर दैट ही हायर्स ह्यूज फायर वॉल प्रॉक्सीज सो प्रॉक्सी कैन बी द आउटसाइड लॉन्ड्री फायर वॉल कैन बी माई करमन ट्राउट हु इज बीन मेकिंग श्योर दैट ओनली ऑथेंटिकेटेड पर्सन आर एबल टू एक्सेस द लेब एंड एंड वॉट नॉट वी कैन गो डाउन एंड डाउन इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिस्टम डिजाइन कॉन्सेप्ट यूजिंग ब्रेकिंग बैड एनालॉजी बट नाउ लेट जस्ट गेट कम बैक टू अवर वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजोटल स्केलिंग सो नाउ वी अंडरस्टूड वॉट वर्टिकल स्केलिंग इज वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेज एडवांटेजेस इज दैट यूजिंग अ सिंगल कंप्यूटर यू कैन एक्चुअली डू मच मोर मच स्मार्टर बेटर लुकिंग थिंग्स यू कैन अचीव मच मोर आउटपुट you can make sure that that is secured but there are also drawbacks with that approach because you can only go so up in terms of vertical scaling let's imagine that currently gus fring is only serving four different states and he is still not able to meet the demand with the existing lab what if he decided to go nationwide or maybe international do you think that that one massive super lab is going to be enough for him to generate that much output no definitely in that scenario maybe he might have to create much more super massive labs spread across who are continuously running because now he is relying on 200 pounds but what if his demand goes up and he wants to generate 2000 pounds of crystal blue how would he be able to do that so in order to do that vertical scaling is just not going to cut it there comes the next approach or the last season where we see that now gus fring is no longer there the vertically scaling up and running super lab is no longer there in this case walter has to decide that how now they are going to scale their operation up because they realize that the demand is significantly out there and this still needs to play along in order to meet the demand and that's where the genius of jesse pinkman comes in because jesse realized that in the mexico they actually had created uh, an entire shelter where they are able to quickly build up a super medicine lab and the same way they are going to do it in collaboration with todd and jack and all of their people so at that time what they end up doing is instead of scaling vertically they decide to scale horizontally all across albuquerque where every single position they are actually building up or creating these tents where they are generating their product they are running this concurrently at different locations no risk to each other and they are meeting the demand of different people at any given point if they realize that the, their demand is no longer there they can simply stop their operation they can simply stop whatever they are doing at many, many different locations they are no longer relying on a single point failure or dea catching up to them at just one particular location because they are changing their locations they are having multiple people to operate but now what are the drawbacks in this scenario the drawback is now at every single different location they will have to set everything up there is an initial cost plus you will have to make sure that everything is up and running if something goes wrong you will have to take that node out and you might have to put the uh, another node in so there is a cost associated with that as well but the other benefit is that this is much more scalable operation imagine that instead of 200 pounds if vault had has to scale up his operation to 2000 pounds maybe he can just open like 10 more houses with 10 more labs and he and jesse and he can train todd and other people to run the same operation in all of the other places and generate the the crystal blue product and that's what they keep on doing so now you understand that what are the benefits of horizontal scaling and vertical scaling how it's being done in one scenario you are actually adding much more computers in order to completely solve your problem on the other approach you are actually having massive computer being built built to do all the computation now in your system design what should be the ideal approach of course the ideal approach is quite simple for the system design you actually wants to have higher capacity computers but more in terms of quantity there is going to be very rare instances where you are only going to have just one super massive computer running all the computation because there is too much risk of failure and we all seen what happened with los pollos hermanos and uh, all the dreams of gus fring 
so this was my analogy of uh, explaining horizontal and vertical scaling with breaking bad because in my opinion it is the greatest show of all time and also i enjoy speaking about breaking bad and system design so let me know in the comments if you like the analogy if i missed anything and